All right, I'm gonna do this in one shot, so forgive me if I talk quick. This is your engine bay. There's three bolts holding some sort of brace to your frunk, one's on the left, right, and middle. This is what your engine bay will look like when you remove them. This is your clutch master cylinder. There's a banjo bolt on the side. The two bolts connecting the master cylinder to the firewall are 12 millimeters in diameter. The one holding the banjo bolt is 14, I believe. This is a horrible photo of the interior footwell. Basically, the clutch master cylinder is held in place by a bolt and a pin. Remove the bolt and the pin, and if you've already removed the bolts in the front, then the clutch master cylinder will come out. At this point, you can go ahead and install your new clutch master cylinder, which is probably really nice looking. Uh, go ahead and install it, bolt it into place, and use the same bolt and pin that you used to secure the old one with the new one. At this point, all you'll have to do is bleed the system, so top off the master cylinder with new brake fluid and bleed it from this valve in the back, which is a 10 millimeter bolt. Bleeding the lines is going to be a really tedious, slow process, so some advice for you when you do it. Do it slow, don't rush, and whatever you do, do not kick the clutch pedal in order to bleed it. Instead, lay under the car, have a friend who is going to bleed the system for you, and when you tell him to push down the clutch, have him hold it for three seconds at the bottom. While he's pushing it down, open the valve, have him hold it for three seconds, and before he closes the clutch or lets it return to its neutral position, close the valve before he lifts his foot off of it. This will ensure that no more air gets into the system. So you're gonna tell him to push down, hold, you're gonna open the valve as he's pushing down, and close the valve before he releases his foot off of it. Thanks for watching the video. If you're somehow at this video first, please watch the video instead by the Retro Lab. It's about 13 minutes, but it's pretty in depth on how to do this project. Um, once you're done watching that, just watch this video to, again to supplement your knowledge and get things clearer in your head. Um, good luck, and I hope everything works out for you. Thanks. Bye. One thing I forgot to mention about the banjo bolt, I had an easy time removing the bolt but not the whole assembly from the stock uh, setup. So what I did was use the bolt from the new clutch master cylinder and put it into the old assembly. Um, everything should just go right in. It's not like there are different threads or different sizes. The only thing was the new bolt that came with my Exidy. Um, master cylinder was 15 millimeters in diameter instead of 14. Um, yeah, you're, you might have a really hard time getting out the entire assembly, so if nothing's wrong with it, there's nothing wrong with using the stock one, just use a different bolt. Uh, you'll probably understand what I'm talking about once you get to the project yourself. Uh, once again, good luck and take care. Bye-bye.